journey to MedFest began on a trip to Special Olympics North Carolina headquarters where we met with our preceptor, Ellen. We were given a tour and brief history of Special Olympics and truly learned the importance of the work that we would be doing over the next couple of months. Before our planning could begin, we needed to understand the population of which we would be working with firsthand. So we did extensive research over the course of the next week, learning that over 300 students in Harnett County alone aren't able to participate as Special Olympics athletes due to not having a completed physical screening. We wanted to reach as many students as possible, so we set our goal at reaching over 50 students at three different schools in the county. Special Olympics or Manifest offers free sports physicals and screenings for people with intellectual disabilities. Special Olympics connects people with intellectual disability to health and wellness resources within the local community. Organizing MedFest required interprofessional collaboration at every stage of the process. In August, we met with administration and staff members at Harnett Central High to discuss the event and all that it would encompass. After that, we distributed athlete participation packets to parents at each school, then students from the Lington Shaw Town and Harnett Central Middle School had to fill out an additional field trip form. Staying in constant communication with teachers was also vital. We then recruited both clinical and general volunteers. Lastly, throughout the process, we had to coordinate every logistical detail, both major and minor, to ensure a successful MedFest. We had three main goals for MedFest this year. To give a certain number of athletes a physical exam, to give clinical personnel experience caring for this population, and to educate the athletes on healthy living practices through a wellness fair. Last year's MedFest was able to evaluate 21 athletes. This year, we had a lofty goal to double this amount and we surpassed it. We were able to serve almost 50 athletes with over 30 clinical volunteers from nearly every discipline, including nursing, PA, PT, and DO. We worked with Team Garden and Team Oral Health to bring education about healthy nutrition and dental care to our wellness sphere. The impact of MedFest is long lasting, from providing health care to athletes in the now, to giving providers experience with intellectual and developmental disabilities so that there can hopefully be increased access to care in the future for this population. To gather insight on the perceptions of teachers about MedFest, our group conducted interviews of special education teachers from the schools who participated in our event. The interviews proved to be informative and provided our group with perceptions on challenges from the event as well as opportunities for improvement at future MedFest events. We are absolutely blown away by the impact special education teachers felt MedFest had on their students, not only from a clinical perspective, but also as a means of socialization and integration for their students with intellectual and developmental disabilities.